This is a center of mass problem where the density function is not constant. We want to find the x coordinate of the center of mass for the thin plate bounded by the curves y equal plus or minus 4 over root x. And also by the lines x equals 1 and x equals 4. And the density function is a function of x where 1 over x will determine what the density is at a point in our region. We're going to start off with a graph of the region, and so we want to be able to know what this, what this function looks like, and 4 over root x, pretty much the graph of it looks a lot like the graph of um, 1 over x, um, and so we'll draw that curve for 1 over x, and we're just going to say pretty much we're going to have this kind of a shape here. That's the graph, we'll just call it the graph of y equals 4 over root x. Well, the other guy is negative 4 over root x. Take this curve and, and just basically flip it over the x-axis, and we have we have exactly that. This is y equals negative 4 over root x. It's just a sketch. It's definitely not um, a total mirror image. It's not exactly you know, correct, but that's okay. Then we have the lines, uh, x equals 1, let's just mark off a line, x equals 1, and then another line, x equals 4. So let's just call this guy here, x equals 4. This next guy we're going to draw. All right, great. So we have this region here. And we want to find the x coordinate of the center of mass. It's just a sketch, it's, it's not exact drawing or anything. And so we need formulas. And so we have the following formulas for center of mass when the density isn't constant. We have the moment about the x-axis, the moment about the y-axis, and sorry about this. Uh, the moment about the y-axis divided by the mass. Now, in the normal formula, the density was a constant, and we pulled it outside of the integral. But now, it can't be outside the integral. It must be inside the integral. And so we call it, um, in their notation, they use del of x in our, in our um, textbook. So we leave that. That must be inside the integral. Uh, f is your upper function. G is your lower function. And so, um, there's also this factor of x that's in the moment about the y-axis. And so we just have to calculate these two integrals and divide the one by the other. The values of a and b are 1 and 4. And so, and so now we just have to um, plug into the formulas. Let's do the moment about the y-axis as the integral from 1 to 4 density function 1 over x x from the formula and then the upper function 4 over root x minus the lower function negative 4 over root x and that integrals with respect to x so what happens is these guys cancel nicely, and we end up just with 8 over root x. Let's pull the 8 out, and um, root x would be x to the negative 1 half power.
integrating that, we add 1 and get x to the half. Instead of dividing by a half, we multiply by 2. And we evaluate from 1 to 4. So we're talking about basically 16 root x. So we'll have 16 root 4 minus root 1. And that's just 2 minus 1. So that's just 16 being the moment about the y-axis. Next, let's go get the mass. The mass is found from integrating from 1 to 4 again, but this time there's no x to, uh, to, to cancel out. We're going to have the del function, the density function, 1 over x, and then once again the difference between these guys, 4 over root x minus a negative 4 over root x. So we get 8 over root x again, but then that's multiplied by a 1 over x. And so what's going to end up happening then, we'll call it, uh, we'll pull the 8 out, integrate from 1 to 4, and then x root x is x to the 3 halves power in the denominator, but um, to integrate it, let's bring it up as x to the negative 3 halves. And so integrating that and adding 1 to it, we get x to the negative 1 half. Instead of dividing by negative 1 half, we times by a negative 2. And we're going from 1 to 4. And we're just going to represent that as negative 16 times 1 over root x. And so we're going to have um, 1 over root 4 minus 1. 1 over root 1. And we'll multiply that by a negative 16. Well, we get negative a half there. And so the negative a half will be multiplied by the 8. We have 1 half minus 1 here. Multiplied by the negative 16, I'm sorry. And what we end up with then is an 8. Negative 16 times a negative 1 half is a positive 8. And then finish this off by just writing the formula for x bar. And so we take our 16 from the numerator, our 8 from the denominator. The coordinate of the uh, the x coordinate of the center of mass is 2. Let's just talk a second about the y coordinate of the center of mass. Um, the graph, uh, the the region that we have, is symmetric about the x axis. And so um, this function here, the density function, depends only on x. And so um, the x value that you would get would have a symmetric density where what we have um, above would be the same as what we have below. And so um, when we want to get the center of mass in, in as far as the y coordinate, then we can reason out that um, even though we have this varying density, uh, because it only depends on x, and we have this symmetric with respect to the x-axis like this, then um, the y-bar should be zero. So the point of, for the center of mass will be um, 2, 0. And let me just, just put it here. This point here would be the center of mass, um, right there. Okay, great.